hello guys welcome to another episode of designs with reverend media today i will take you through a step by step on how to design a political parliamentary poster essential boache edition the mpp parliamentary aspiring candidate for bantama constituency please before we start please 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 subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell beside it thank you very much without more time i do let's get started now the size of this parliamentary poster is a3 so you go you, you click on create new then we are going to use uh, the size will be a3 and the resolution 300 yes so we use this same settings as you see on the screen time you click ok now we have our documents here and the first thing that we do is that we do our background and for the background the top is white and the down is darkish blue so we are going to do the darkish blue after that we move on so i'll go to my tools here i'll click on uh, rectangle rectangle tool then I will drag halfway. Very good. Then I will change the color to blue, darkish blue. Or you can come here, then you change the color. That will suit you. Very good. Let me increase it a bit. Yes, and you can see that there is a red line at the top of the this blue box. So I will use the same rectangular box. I will zoom a bit, then I will draw the rectangular box here. The box here to me to give me that line. Then I will change the color to red. Very good. Now my background is ready. So I will select both of the rectangular box here then i'll lock it so that it will not interact with any of the uh, object that i'll be using later then the next one we are going to bring the the logo of the uh, mpp it's an mpp parliamentary candidate so i'll bring it here i have it here then the program files will be under the description below so don't worry i have the the logo here then the next thing that you can see that there is his name under this logo Bantma Asensio Boachi so without my time I do I'll type here yes so with our type Bantma here let me um, Bantma uh, Asensio very good now as you can see on the screen we change the uh, spacing to auto auto here or we can bring it to around six no okay i think this one is good yes very good then i'll bring it under this logo I reduce it a bit here then I'll change the color to this color very good now we are going to type the Francis the name of our uh, MP Let me change the color to white. Okay, so Francis is also the deputy chief of staff. Now for this one, we will change the font to is the same area, but we change it to area uh, black. Very good. Then we increase the vertical, the horizontal. Uh, 
Bajota space in here okay then I'll reduce it very good now I leave it the the name the ascension watch so I'll just press alt click on this Francis here I'll drag and make a copy then I'll go I'll use I'll select my type to then I will change the name as so so watch it very good now I have the name here I'll then uh, I'll press I'll, I want to stretch this name a bit so I'll press on shift then I'll stress very good I think it's okay then I will increase this one the, the, the font the size of the font here very good make sure that I'll select all of them then I'll align them to the middle very good now we can see some red stripes, three stripes under the ascension body. So we are going to do that. You, you pick your rectangle to here, then you draw a, a stripe like that. Very good. So I'll change the color to red, and as you can see, the color is not just red it's a it's a gradient color it's a gradient color with white and red so at the layer panel you select the rectangular box it's the rectangle thread then you, you press on the effect under it you go to gradient overlay very good so you you just press on the gradient here then you double click here you choose red choose red then here to you choose white in case yours is having different color mine is having the same color so then I, okay you can also manipulate the the angle here a bit I think this one is okay then you press okay after that you copy it twi twice twice so that to be to be thread so you, you press alt on the keyboard you can see that the cursor has changed to, to to black and white you click and you drag you release your mouse then you, you leave your hands from there the alt you do the same thing again now i have my stripes here very good i can select all of them oh let me let me decrease it a bit uh, the spacing You can see that we have the same thing at the right side so i will select the three of them i'll press on alt the cutter will change then i'll copy and bring it here very good so now you see that the color of this one has changed this one so we click on one of them here you come to a gradient overlay here then you can change the angle you can change the angle very good you change the angle to to 137 or any any one that will suit you after that you have to apply the same effect on the other two so you can see this one is this and this one is also this so i will select and you I will select the first one here then you can see that there's the effect here fx here it means effect you will press alt then you click and drag the same effect to to the other one see i will do it to this to the other one too then i have it very good now you can see uh, let's uh as i'm so francis as well as a four so we are going to write that for our copy by pressing on alt and the 
to give me a copy I'll edit it for this time around I will reduce the space in here so I'll come to my character here if you don't see your character here you go to windows then check on character it will come then I will uh, this one is uh, vertical spacing so I will bring it to zero yes then I will change the color to color red very good then I leave it the pantomime I'll copy um, I'll copy the, the for here by pressing on alt then I'll click and drag then I'll make changes by pressing on the test tube I'll type my bantama bantama here very good then I will increase the spacing I will increase the font sorry I will increase the font to make it big very good it's the same font that we, we, we are using very good then I'll change the color to change this color is okay very good that's that is the color that they used very good you can, as you can see this color is having the same color with the front so let's also change this so I'll click on uh, the color here change color here then with the help of my color picker you can see there is a target uh, I click on the color then it will it will it will automatically affect the other one okay then let's move on to level the constituency so I'll press on alt very good then I'll I'll change it to constituency Twenty twenty. Then I'll click and reduce the size. Reduce the size. I'll bring it under the antima. Then I'll change the color to white. Very good. So what is left is the uh, the service integrity and commitment. So I will type service integrity. integrity commit commitment here. Then I'll then reduce this very good. Now I'll bring it here. I'll change the the font is Arial, but the category is Arial uh, narrow board. So you see, I then edit and leave two spacing to each of the red. You can see, you can see that there is a there is a, a circle a circle in the in between each red. So I'll select my elliptic elliptic tool here. I'll press on Shift and I'll draw. After that, I change the color change the color to red then I'll bring it in between this one I will then copy then copy and paste here let me give let me give a little space here very good And 
as you can see the color of the service is red so I'll select only the red I'll change the color to red so let's only the commitment here change the color to red very good now pass. then it's it left with now it's left with the the step component is statue here I have it here don't worry the, the the project files will be under the description below please don't forget to subscribe to this channel please then I'll bring it here As you can see, I can select all of them and bring it down. Very good. I left with some stars, the stars, uh, the three stars here. So I'll go to within my toolbar. I'll go to uh, custom shape. You can press and hold, or you can right click. It will come custom shapes here. Then you go to shapes. You can choose shapes here. Shapes. Go to legacy uh, shapes and more. Then you get the stars there. I've, I've I already have it, so I'll just click on. Start. I'll press on uh, shift. Then I'll draw. I'll press on shift. Then I'll draw. Now very good. I have my star here now. I have my stars here now. So. I'm going to you can see that there it is embossed it is embossed so I'll go to so we are going to emboss this um, this star as you see on your screen so I'll go to effects I'll select the star here I'll go to effects then go to um, bevel and emboss yes so you choose inner bevel then the technique style will be the technique will be chisel hard. Then you bring the angle in the middle here. The angle in the middle here. Then you increase the size. You increase the size. Very good. Hmm. That's all. You can use the same settings as you see on on your screen. You press OK. So we are going to as you see the stars are three one two are um blue and one is red so we are going to do the red we just copy this one here you press on alt then you you click and drag after that you increase this um, the middle one small because it is bigger than the other ones then you go to you click on this shape here then you change the color to red after that this the, the other star is the same as the first one that we did so we are going to copy it to the other to the right side so i'll press alt and i'll copy i'll make sure i leave the uh, mouse before compressing the the alt very good now our stars are ready so we just select all of them we bring it in the middle of the Francis now we are almost done we just select all of them here and bring it down here very good very good then we can also increase it so that it will be bigger so for political poster people have to see it when even they are far very good can see my my these two red have become as has vanished very good so let me bring it to where it belongs okay Now you can see that there is a, a more space here, so we have to bring it down. I'll right click on the rectangular one, then I'll unlock it. After that, I'll bring it down. 
or two. When you're using Photoshop 2019 to 2020, you press Shift, then you bring it down. Very good. Okay, so I'll just select this red one here. I've also locked it, so I'll, I'll unlock it. Then I'll bring, I'll bring it down. I'll bring it down here. Very good, very good. Now our poster is almost ready. There with the picture of the honorable Asenso Guachi. So I'll bring his picture here. I've already removed the background of the picture. If you want to know how to remove the background, I have a tutorial on that. So you check on my playlist the, the tutorials are there. Okay. Very good. So Asenso Guachi is here. As you can see, we are done. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for tutorials and don't forget to also press on the notification bell beside so that you can be updated anytime I post a video. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.